Hello everyone, this is Shelter from Shell Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. And I'm waving hello to you here. So I'm putting my little drying spots for a coaster set. Now these coasters I'm making out of these. This is what I usually to test my tiles with. These are um, from Home Depot. Um, rigid core luxury vinyl flooring uh, samples and some are smooth some are a little bit rough but when you're pouring like a coaster on them um, it actually uh, works pretty well although you may have to put a uh, second coat of the resin on it because you see you have a sharp 90 degree angle here if it was more rounded like a regular tile and that resin will pour right over the sides. But this edge right here kind of splits the resin and it makes the resin draw in just slightly. So you put a second coat on and it works perfectly. But if you want to sand it down, I guess that'll be fine too, but I'm not going through all that trouble of sand, trying to sand this down. So anyway, um, this is it. Also, what's good about these is that the skins peel right off if you want to make jewelry. You don't have to, you have this rubber bottom. So it makes a great coaster because it's very lightweight. And you don't, so it's not as heavy as a regular ceramic tile. And um, you don't have to worry about putting a cork bottom on this because it's already got a, a rubberized bottom. So there you have, it's a nice thing you can, if you can find them, not every Home Depot has them. But if you can find them, it's a great thing to have to make um, tiles, some coasters. These are four inch by four inch. So I'm going to make a set of tiles using this. And I'm only going to use four. So this is going to be put aside for my test tile. And I'll use these four for my coasters. Now, also, um, this is going to be a set of tiles that I'm first trying using the I already did a painting with them so I'm going to use um, my new recipe for not a new recipe but I made this uh, chameleon pigment um, cell activator and it changes colors as you can see but this is gonna be nice as uh, a color shifting cell activator for a set of coasters once it gets resin it's going to be dynamite. So let's go over the colors. I have um, Indian Spice by Color Art. This is a primary element. This is um, Folk Art um, Aqua Flash. This is Peacock. From color art this is a prism pour color this is black raspberry a prism pour color this is a black diamond called griffin's fury now hopefully this color shows up this also is a color shifting one, so I love color shifting chameleon kind of colors. It will, it will, this this will turn uh, like a green to a turquoise to a blue, all the way to a purple, like a dioxazine style purple. Not this kind of purple, but more like a, a more rich bluish purple. This one right here has become my all time favorite color. Look at that. Let me get you closer. You see that this is called harvest moon just look at that look at all that shimmer in slow motion you see that my colors don't I don't have my colors as thick as most it's better for me and of course underneath directly underneath is any kind of color shifting or interference type color you want to have it against a black background so i have a small bit of black 
Now the good thing about this, this black is not as thick as the rest of the colors, but it's not as thin as the cell activator either. So it's kind of acts as, acts as a buffer in between. So let me get started. I'm using the white base. I'm Glenn Premium. I have a little bit of water to my Glidden Premium. Semi-gloss, pure white. And that's what I'm gonna use as my pillow. Okay, so let's get the first one started and see how this one goes. So, we'll start off with the pillow and then I'll layer my colors. It's interesting how well this uh, these colors react to the cell activator. You would think I was using Australian Floetrol, but I'm not. Nor do I claim it to be as good or better. I just wanted some decent cells out of a cell activator. So if anyone wants to comment about Oh, it's not as good as Australian Flow Troll and Amsterdam Paint. Feel free. Start a show right here, this harvest moon. So I'm going closer to the top. Right under a little bit of black, not that much. And then my cell activator. Let that collect. Maybe I overdid it with some of that harvest moon. But use a little less next time. Sometimes you have to balance it out really well. And this one I didn't. See how well that reacted. So let's spin it out. Not too bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me get handy dandy here. Pick it up. And you know why I call him Handy Dandy? Because he's handy and he's dandy. So let me see if I can go a little bit less on that. The, that one harvest, even though I love that color. I'm gonna go a little bit less on, on that one. And I might have to do that fifth one to make sure they all match up. It's almost like pancakes. You know, the first one, you always kind of mess up a little bit, but once you get the hang of it, all the rest of the pancakes come out smooth. Okay, so let's go again. 
Uh, I want these calls to show up, otherwise I'm wasting them, right? The Aqua Flash, the Peacock, the Black Raspberry, Griffin's Fury, the Harvest, and the little bit of black, and the CA. Let that collect. Okay, there's some multiple colors in there. So let's spin it out. Ah, that's better. Not too much. Perfect. Now, mind you, in the camera, these colors kind of look, uh, the cell activator looks a little dull. But once that dries, once that uh, medium dries and it leaves the activator behind, then it becomes wonderful. Did that really happen? Yes, it did. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to clean this off and wrap, try that again. That was my best one yet. I should have just picked it up instead of trying to carry it with handy dandy. Handy, is, handy dandy is not a good thing. Good. Now, let me just put a little tiny more of that on there. That's good. Try this again. And handy dandy, I'm not carrying you no more. I'm just gonna pick you up to the camera. Randy scrapes just became Randy flips. See how I like the drizzle because I don't want my I want my colors to actually mix up as I blow it out. Those colors collect. Let that cell activator sink. Yeah, that's definitely going in my blooper reel. And spin her out. Let's 
still got some nice colors in there anyway. All right. So now let me bring you up to the camera with my hand instead of flipping it over. Okay, good. Get off there. So that piece is going to go to the drying table. Okay, folks, let's take a look at that. So there's the whole set together. But I believe it's maybe uh, that one I might use for skins. So let's start with the first one. You see all that violet in that cell activator? And that changes to like a green uh, at, at certain angles, but you're not going to see that until um, it dries. But you at least see the violet right now from this angle. So once it's dried and resin, you'll see all those other colors change. So that's the first one. I really like that. That's the second one, which turned out very nice. There's the third one. Fourth one's not too bad. And then that's the fifth one, the creme de la creme. I love the way that one turned out. So again, this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. And please contain the like, share, and subscribe to my channel and hit your notification bell every time you want to see a new video that I may pop up. Okay folks you see how that's changing in those colors where it went from a magenta to a copper to a gold and then to this green right here and then back down to the coppery color and back to the magenta and then I'll show you another one how it shifts again from the magenta to the copper and then to the gold and to the green. Thank you for watching and happy pouring. Bye-bye.